Welcome to the first GCSE theme uploaded onto Moodle. Each theme will consist of four tasks to be completed over four weeks. The tasks begin very simply with key vocabulary in task one and gradually become more challenging in tasks two to four. We suggest you complete one task per week and upload your answers for marking on a weekly basis. To make sure everyone is supported, answers for the tasks will be uploaded every Sunday evening. This theme, Arardal, the area, was originally uploaded the week beginning of April the 27th. If you have worked your way through these tasks in the past four weeks, please don't do them again. Simply move on to the next theme, which is Abertawe, Swansea. If you haven't attempted these four tasks on Er Ardal, we advise you to give them a go and self-assess them against the answers provided. Task four needs to be submitted for marking by your teacher as it is an extended writing task. So moving on to task one, task Ian. The aim of the task is to introduce the key vocabulary needed to access this topic. We want you to translate 40 key words into Welsh. Some of the words will be familiar to you. Therefore, we want you to focus on your spelling as you recall them. If there are new words in the list, we suggest you Google Translate them, but as always, when using Google, take care, especially when Googling more than one word. Remember the rule in Welsh when describing a noun. If we take a look at example number seven, the word, the word primary school. The word school is the noun and the word primary is the adjective describing the noun. In English, the adjective comes before the noun, but in Welsh, the noun comes first, followed by the adjective. So in English, we have primary school, and in Gymraeg, we have ysgol gynradd. The extension task is to think of 10 other words associated with the topic er arda and to translate them also into Welsh. In order to get started on this task, you can now click on the link which, uh, which says task in. Moving on to task die, this is a reading task. So let's take a look at the text, the first text written by Marit, describing the area where she lives. Let's read this together. Hello, Marit, a diva enwi, a rydwi'n bymtheg oed. Rydw i'n byw ymryn am an gyda fy mam, fy nhad, fy mrawd a fy tair chwair. Fy nghyfeiriad i ydi i gain Street Park. Bryn am man sy'r gair fyrddyn. Rydw i'n byw mewn tu ar wahan. Mae bryn am man yn y wlad, yn agos i dref rhyd am man. Ymryn am man mae clwb rygbi, hen sinema, tai a ffarc. A bod yn onest, does dim llawer yno. Ar y cyfan, rydw i'n hoffi'r ardal achos mae fy ffrindiau yno. So that was Marid writing about the area where she lives. In the second text, Rodri, who's a boy, is also describing where he lives. Let's read this one again together. Hello, Rodri a diva enwi. Rydwi'n indig pedwaroid ac yn y byw gyda fy mam. A fy chwair ym hwntar ddylais. Fy nghyfeiriad i ydy 27 hi ol fawr pwntar ddylais. Rydwi'n byw mewn fflat. Pentref ydy pontarddylais yn Sir Abertawe. Mae pentrefi bach yn agos i bontarddylais fel pontlew, 
Penllyr Gair a'r Hendi. Mae pont ar ddylais yn gallu bod yn swnllyd yn ystod y dydd during the day, ond yn dawel yn y nos. Rydw i wrth y modd yn byw ym hwnt ar ddylais achos mae'n greit. Mae llawer o bethau yn fy ardal i fel siopau, pwllnofio, ysgol, cau chwarae, tafarn, ysbyty a llyfrgell. And lastly, the third text. Siomau, sioned ydw i. Rydw i'n undig saith oed a rydw i'n byw yn fel indre gyda fy'n haeli, fy mam a fy'n had. Rydw i wedi bod yn byw yn fel indre am wyth mlynedd, eight years. Rydw i'n byw mewn tu teras. Fy'n hafairiad i ydy 56 bryn mawr fel indre sir abertawe. Pentref bach tawel yn y wlad ydy fel indre. Mae'n agos i bentle'r gair. A bod yn onest, does dim llawer o bethau i wneud yn yr ardal, achos does dim llawer o bethau yno. Mae tai, capel ac un caffi bach. Rydw i'n cysau i'r ardal, achos mae'n rhy dawel. Hoffwn i gael sinema yn fy ardal i, achos rydw i wrth fy modd yn gwylio ffilmiau. So let's take a look at the first four key questions for you to answer. Question 1, pwy ydy'r hyna? Question 2, pwy ydy'r ifanca? Question 3, dai gyfleister? Question 4, taili mawr? So you need to circle the correct answer or simply or delete the two wrong answers. You need to be able to work out what the keyword hana means, ifanka, and the word gavleister. Gavleister is a mutation. Normally it begins with the letter C, kavleister. Go back to the text, see if you can work out which one of the three possible answers is the correct answer for each question. Moving on to questions five, six, and seven. This time we need you to answer in full Welsh sentences. Question pimp. Pa fath o bethau si ym mohantar ddelais? Question chwech. Ble yn union mai bryn aman? Ar hyf saith, disgrifiwch fel indre. Now you might have some prior knowledge of these villages, but what we need you to do is go back and check for the answers in the text and the sentences you can lift from the text and use as answers. Finally, moving on to the extension task. The question is, what in debyg similar e Are you similar to Seaned? We want you to be able to compare yourself with the girl Seaned. And we want you to use a combination of first person sentences using dween. For example, dween debyg i Seaned achos. Or possibly, do i ddim yn debyg i Seaned achos. And then you support your answer with a third person sentence using my Seaned yn. Remember to use connectives and idioms also. You'll find task die again with a small link under this video. Moving on now, e task three. So task three is a translating and a proofreading task. Another word for proofreading is the task of correcting the text. The initial focus is the correct mutation needed after the word un, which means in. 
We're all familiar with the key question, where do you live? Blerutin bew, and how to answer it in a full Welsh sentence. Dwi'n bew yn. This sentence with the keyword yn in it causes a mutation. And many of us answer by saying, Dwi'n bew yn hwnta'r ddelais, or Dwi'n bew yn hir coed. Yn means in. Um means in. And now there is a third example of the word in, which is ung. Place names beginning with the letters in blue. Following the word un, which means in, will mutate and become the letters shown to you here in red. It's important to, number one, use the correct version of in. And it's important to mutate the first letter accurately. So your first challenge is to insert the correct word for in and mutate correctly. So we have betos. Betos beginning with the letter B. So if you go back a slide, you'll find your codes and it is a metos. The next challenge is to read the keywords in the red boxes and to unjumble them to form a correct Welsh sentence or question as the case may be. Only the place names have capital letters. You are going to need to problem solve which word starts your sentence. But we must always remember that that famous word my, my means is. Pontar delice is in the country. Yeah? So if you think you can make sense of them and that there is a my in your sentence, probably begins your sentence. If my isn't there, it could be a key questioning word or it could be a negative. The next aspect is your proofreading task. It consists of 12 mistakes. They are a combination of punctuation, spelling, mutation, as well as inaccurate, wrong st sentence structures. You simply need to identify the mistake, which is in bold and underlined, and write the correct version in the boxes. Moving on to the final element of task three, to read the sentence and to translate it into English. And again, task three has a link called task three. The final task in this theme er Ardal the area is the extended writing task. You are to write a letter, a formal letter, to the local council discussing the area where you live. I'll refer back to this slide now before we finish. There's a lot of help available. These are the requirements now in terms of writing a formal letter. The layout you can see on the right hand side information about the approximate numbers of number of words required, the usual elements of different sentence patterns, using the appropriate keywords, as well as punctuating accurately with full stops, capital letters and your paragraphing. The next slides provide you with keywords required to complete the task. And key sentence structures to help you along the way.
you could possibly use one, two of these really to explain exactly where Ble and Inyon Mai, the village where you live, the type of place it is. The example is at the bottom for you. Pentref a di pantarthelais urth eravon. Now this is a good starting point for everybody. A simple introductory paragraph for your letter. The next slides give you positives as well as negative aspects that you might refer to when describing the village where you live. And finally, the final slide provides a writing frame for you. This is your layout and this is the frame for you to work or to write against. Scroll back and find all the key sentences needed to discuss where you live. Everything that you need is either in task 4 or you can go back task 3, task die, task in. Remember idioms, reasons and include a variety of sentence patterns. But do not type your English answer into Google Translate and expect Google Translate to write it for you perfectly as this will not be the case unfortunately. We only support using Google Translate when translating key words. We would like you to type your answer out in Word and then to email your teacher directly with your answer. Now the email addresses for myself, Mrs Pierce and Mrs Matthews are on the introductory slide for task, Pedro Task 4.